A state investigation now focuses on a local funeral home that's also the focus of a reality show on Netflix. Buried by the Bernards gives a comedic glimpse into what happens day to day at our Bernard Funeral Services. But this investigation is no laughing matter, especially for the family involved. Here's WREG problem solver Stacy Jacobson. My mom was funny, um, kind. For years, Alfred Velasquez's mother, Anita, lived with him while getting dialysis. Earlier this year, her body gave out. She died on hospice um, due to kidney failure. Velasquez says he called the company the hospice provider recommended, R. Bernard Funeral Services in Orange Mound, and hired them to cremate his mom. Her dying wish was to have her ashes spread over the ocean. A few months later, the family went to Florida to do just that, but they were startled by what they found in the urn. We noticed someone else's information inside of the bag of ashes. This is what they saw, a paper with another woman's name. They decided not to spread the ashes and instead called the funeral home. They asked for the disc number that was on the ashes. It was 450. They're like, it's, it's my mom. You know, at that point, we don't believe them because it's somebody else's, at, I mean, information. When they got back, they filed this, a complaint with the Tennessee Board of Funeral Directors. In R. Bernard's response to the state, they called it a paperwork mix-up, saying they accidentally put another person's label inside Velasquez's urn. And we're just trying to get a response from the funeral home about the complaint filed by the Velasquez family. Oh, no, baby, no. When we went to the funeral home, management wouldn't answer our questions, instead referring us to their lawyer. We understand why they are upset, but the fact of the matter is we can assure them they have the correct ashes. But for Velasquez, it's not enough. He wants proof. I feel like it is happening to other people because the other family that I'm talking to, um, Luis Avacito's daughters, they got two cremation dates when she was supposed to be cremated a month after my mom. I mean, nothing adds up. He's hoping to meet with our Bernard management for them to prove what they say happened. Solving problems in Orange Mound, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. State officials say their investigation into the situation is ongoing. We'll let you know what happens. Our sisters.